Hey everybody, Console Collector here. For today's video, I've got another round of awesome pickups. This video, I've got some stuff from retail stores. I've got some stuff from my local retro video game store. I picked up a few things from this little pawn shop that I recently discovered. And I've got a smoking hot deal on some 3DS stuff off Facebook Marketplace. Stay tuned to the end to check out that one. It's really great and I can't wait to show you guys. So before that, we're going to kick it off with the Super Mario Bros. Bowser's Airship playset. Now, I actually got this playset a little while back, and my son opened it, and he loves it. He plays with it. He loves these Mario toys. So, of course, I had to let him play with it. Now, this one actually was a bundle at Costco, and it comes with the airship and Bowser, Peach, Mario, Goomba, and Luigi. It was on sale for 40 bucks, which was cheaper than the airship by itself. So, I'm a sucker for Bowser stuff, and I picked it up. Probably going to leave this one sealed, just because my kid plays with the other one. But I just love the look of the box, and it's Bowser, so I had to pick it up for that price. Continuing the theme of figures and toys, I stopped by GameStop here, and they actually got in a bunch of new stuff the day I went in there. So I picked up a few things. First one I picked up was this really cool Donkey Kong figure. I'm like, this thing's awesome. I do have an Onyx card there, so I got it for the platinum price here for $22.50. It has a really nice box, nice looking figure probably going to end up opening it simply because my kid always wants someone to battle the big bowser figure i have and he's always like oh we need a big donkey kong so this was perfect he's gonna be excited to open that but really cool box it came with another thing that they had there which is new is this princess pack it has toadette daisy peach rosalina and luma and wendy oh i'm wrong no luma i'm just used to smash but yeah some princesses He's always wanting like the princesses to play with Mario Bros and stuff, so I think that'll be fun for him to open up and play with. Especially with Toadette. I've never seen Toadette anywhere. Then they got some Sonic stuff in, and my kid loves Sonic just as much as Mario. So when I saw these, I'm like, this is just, this is just great. A little bit on the pricey side, $32 Canadian, but it came with an Eggman, Sonic, Amy, Knuckles, and Tails. Really nice collection pack here. He is definitely going to open these and play with them. I know him. Super cool. These toys are meant to be played with. It really does make me happy that I'm able to get these for my kid and he can enjoy them. Because I wish I had toys like this when I was a kid. And then finally, I just found a larger Amy figure, which I've been kind of looking for. So pick that up as well. Moving along, they had a Spirit Halloween store in town for Halloween. I stopped by there. I picked up a Halloween costume for my kid. I just picked up this little magnet, which I thought was kind of cool. I wanted to show. And it's the trick or treat little magnet. And it shows all the spooky costumes from the kids on the bus. There's Sam. Just kind of cool. Something I wanted for the retro room. So I'm going to share that. And speaking of Halloween... Halloween is good because you start to see horror movies and, and DVDs and stuff like that come out. And I've been waiting to pick up a few horror movies. And Walmart finally had them. They always have a nice selection of horror movies around Halloween. So I picked up all of these from Walmart. I got the Evil Dead Ultimate Edition. The Evil Dead Remake, which, funny story, this was the first movie I saw in the theater with my wife at the time. We were going on our first date and that's the movie we saw. Then I picked up the Rugrats Trilogy movie collection. Sinister 1 and 2. The original Spawn. I love digging through those like big bins they have with DVDs because you never know what you're going to find. Like finding Spawn in there was awesome for five bucks. And this was a great find of the two. Jason X. I have this on Blu-ray, not DVD. I've been looking for it and I was like, get out of here. Five bucks. I'll take it. And this was a super cool find. This is DuckTales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lap. This is like pure nostalgic movie from when, I'm, from when I was a kid. And to see that in there for five bucks, that was great. Another one from my childhood, which is Little Giants. This is a great movie, I remember. I'm going to have to crack it open and watch it with my kids. But I enjoyed it. And then this one I've been waiting to get for Halloween to come around. And it's the Saw 8 film collection. It includes all seven Saw films and Jigsaw. So I'm really happy to grab that. And then finally, just got this because I liked most of them when I was a kid and wanted my kids to see them. And it's the Land Before Time Complete Collection. All 14 movies. It was 30 bucks. So that was really awesome. 
I also picked up one Blu-ray from Walmart, and that is Ghostbusters Afterlife. This was 15 bucks with the DVD bundle. I've actually been wanting to get this. I watched it on Netflix, and I can tell you as an original Ghostbusters fan, this movie is great. I had low expectations going into it, but I was blown away. This was a great film, so if you like Ghostbusters, you've got to check this one out. Just saying. Next up, I actually got some stuff from Amazon. Some new games had come out recently I wanted to pick up, and I grabbed those off Amazon, as well as one game I got from PlayAsia. We'll start off with that. This is the Klonoa Fantasy Riviere series. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, it's Klonoa 1 and 2 on Switch. It is from PlayAsia. I really wanted to get a physical release of this, so I'm super excited to finally get this. I've never played the Klonoa games, so really happy to try them out. They're just so dang expensive. And then on Amazon, I picked up this bundle here. It's the Kingdom Hearts All-in-One Package. It was actually on sale for $25. Bucks. All Kingdom Hearts games for $25. Bucks. I thought I'd grab that. I already have this, but it's open, so I just want to basically get a sealed one to hang on to, because I'm silly. And then I picked up Bayonetta for the Switch, mainly for my wife. She really enjoyed Bayonetta too, and I thought this would be kind of cool to pick up for. And then a game I've been super hyped for, I haven't played it because I've been waiting for the physical, and it finally came out, and that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Just the standard edition, but I'm super hyped about this thing, so really glad I was able to pick that up. All right, we just got a couple more things to look at, and then the super awesome Facebook Marketplace deal. We'll start here with my little bag of goodies from my local retro video game store. Nothing too crazy, but I still have around six to five hundred dollars trade credit i just picked up a few games i picked up hades for the nintendo switch i heard a lot of great things about this i was happy to pick that up they finally got a copy in that's one of those games i didn't want to spend money on but because i had the trade credit i thought i'd grab it and then xenoblade chronicles 3 i really need to play these games i picked up three just simply because i had the trade credit like i mentioned before i love using my trade credit to get new switch games and not to spend a penny all right, a little stack of things from this little pawn shop I discovered that had a whole bunch of different games and everything was reasonably priced. So I picked up this Mini Ninja Games for PS3. It was five bucks. Just looked interesting. They had this copy of Ooze here for 25. A little bit of label lifting on it, but not bad. This game looks decent. I wanted to try that. Then they had some Game Boy Advance stuff there. They had it all in like a box. And unfortunately, they just looked up the price. I hate that, but they gave me some good deals here. So they had Banjo Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge. They wanted 25 for it, which is okay. I never played the GBA game to Banjo, so I wanted to pick that up. And then they had this for 40, Banjo Pilot, which it's going for about 50. So I went with it just because I'd never seen it. And then they had Inspector Gadget with the manual there, and this was 10 bucks. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'd grab that. I used to watch Inspector Gadget when I was a kid. And then they just had these DS games all for 10 bucks each. That was kind of cool. I like when they just generically price this stuff. It doesn't make sense with GBA. But anyway, they had Soul Bubbles, which apparently is a Toys R Us exclusive. Former EB game or EB GameStop, whatever. There it is. So that's cool. I believe it was complete. Yeah, it was. And then sonic rush which i've been looking for this game and it was complete and then sonic rush adventure can you believe it both of them oh i can't get them open and it was complete as well and this thing is mint so yeah 30 bucks for these three which is quite the deal all right time for the smoking hot 3ds deal that i got from facebook marketplace now this lady posted two 3ds consoles one for 90 one for 100 the $90 one she posted was this gold, A Link Between Worlds 3DS. It's actually in pretty decent shape overall. It has the stylist. The front here on top does have some minor scratches, so it has been used. But I don't even have this 3DS, so that was really nice. The inside's mint. A little bit dirty, but screens are really nice. Some fuzz in here, but yeah, overall, really nice unit. I guess there's a little bit of wear and tear here, you can see. I think that's mainly from rubbing. Yeah, so that one was 90, which is great. And then she had this one up for 100. And it's my favorite 3DS ever. It is the beautiful Galaxy 3DS. I just love the look of this thing. Wow, beautiful. And this thing is really mint. 
There's no scratches at all on it that I could see. The bottom's really nice. Has the stylist as well. The thing I don't like about this DS though is the fingerprints and dirt. Like, look at that. It's just rubbing off. Really dirty. Needs a good cleaning, but overall super minty. And the inside is just as nice. No damage to the screens. Just really dirty. Needs a good cleaning. So yeah, that one was $100. So $190 for both. Now, it was a little stressful because I messaged her and I said I'd take both of them right away. No questions asked. She says, that's great. You can pick up tomorrow. I'm like, awesome. So I get up and I message her, hey, I can come pick up. You know, I already had the address. I just needed a confirmation. I don't want to show up to her house without her being there, right? So I messaged her in the morning. No reply all day. Literally like 10 hours go by. And then at that point, you're like, I lost it. It's being up it. It's gone. There's no way. You know, just that much time, it's been upbid. That's just how this works here where I am, is upbidding. So by the end of the day, I kind of wrote it off. I'm like, I'm not getting it. It's done. Then she messaged me and said, hey, sorry. I've been getting tons of messages. And when I read that, I'm like, yep, it's gone. She goes, but you can still come get it. I've been busy. You know, I'm going to honor my price that I promised with you. So come and grab it. So I head over there. And then when I get there, I asked her if she had change because I brought just 200. I was just going to give her the flat 200 if she didn't have any change. And she's like, you know what? I'll just throw in this extra game for another 10 bucks if you want. And I said, sure, whatever it is, I'll take it. I was happy paying 200, but yeah. So she actually threw in a copy of Pokemon Y with it and it's complete. The case is broken, but yeah, copy of Pokemon Y. So I ended up getting the gold Zelda Link Between Worlds 3DS. The Galaxy 3DS and Pokemon Y for $200 Canadian. What a great deal that was. I can't believe I still was able to get that after literally 10 hours of silent trummer. I still managed to get it. So shout out to you, lady. I appreciate it. Got a really great deal on these 3DS consoles. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on social media. The information is on screen now and in the description below. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the Console Collector, and until the next video, happy gaming.